Ignite pays for everything. Models, events, yachts. Dan would just have it wrapped with the Ignite logo and all of a sudden it was an Ignite expense. Look at this. It's just a fucking total dork, loser, piece of shit, fraud, lying, like total loser. Throwing money fraudulently from a company he owns to pay for girls, events, yachts, and other toys. <laughs> What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, we're gonna be reacting to Dan Bilzerian has finally failed, good riddance. Okay, and this was made a little bit ago before his company Ignite got indicted by the SEC. Okay, his father, Paul, who's a criminal, got indicted and Dan's company Ignite and their accountant all got indicted for fraud. Okay, let's begin. Nothing feels better than winning when people are patiently waiting to see you fail. Dan, you've lost a million followers in the last 12 months, seen your stock price plummet so low you had to take it off the stock exchange. Yeah, and keep in mind, Dan Bilzerian is one of the biggest fucking fake poser pieces of shit on the internet. He inherited a large amount of money from his criminal father, Paul, who made that money through shady business dealings okay, that were illegal, and he got sent to jail for it. Dan said on a podcast that he received $96 million from the trust fund, and then he ran it down to a million and a half by 2021. Then the fund at one point, you said it was worth like $96 million, the investments in it, and then when you sell it 2019, 2020-ish, the, the investments are worth only a million and a half bucks or a little under, what happened? I mean, all this stuff just kind of like ran the company's value down. And then once the company's value goes down, it's hard for them to like, you know, raise it, you know, so it's the whole thing. It had been, I don't know, 30, 39 years or whatever since he set up the trust fund, the two stocks that he had in there just didn't do that well. And then since he was desperate for money, he started repurposing funds from the company Ignite and spending those for his own personal luxurious lifestyle spending. Then he took out a refinancing on his mortgage, okay, where he took $5 million off of his mortgage last year, okay, because he was in financial trouble. And that was in October of, of 2023. And now in 2024, he's put up his Vegas mansion for sale and become a fake dating coach. Okay, he has this bullshit scam program called Sigma Society. He's obviously just desperate for money. And as I said, his company Ignite was just indicted by the SEC, okay, and there could be criminal charges coming down on Dan Bilzerian, okay, but he has this whole fake backstory how he won all this money through untraceable cash games and poker. That's all bullshit. And I know for a fact that the majority of those girls that he brings around on social media and that he sleeps with are paid. So he's not cool. All he did was just go show off online about spending his dad's illegally earned trust fund money. Okay, that's it. Change. And now spend the rest of your time copying Andrew Tate. Yeah, we're gonna start a website called uh, Sigma Society. Well, and he looks like a stupid raccoon with his haircut. <laughs> He's done the fake conversion to Islam. He's taking all these pictures posted up with the Quran and all this nonsense. And of course, he's friends with piece of shit Andrew Tate because he's a piece of shit himself. Rambling about politics on Twitter. This is basically the definition of failure and here's exactly how it happened. Den and this video was made before his company actually got indicted. The company being indicted is a recent thing. This video came before that. Bilzerian took his company Ignite public at a price of $2.50 per share back in January 2019, a time at which his career was going perfectly. His Instagram was gaining 400,000 followers per month. He was living in a $65 million mansion. And most importantly, everybody believed that his lifestyle was real. That would be- He's always wearing short shorts too. Notice when <laughs> you see him in the pictures with his shorts, it always looks like a little girl's fucking tiny short shorts. And then you listen to what the guy just said in the video. Everyone thought his lifestyle was real. Nope, it's funded by criminal trust fund money, not poker games. Okay, then it's funded by fraudulent spending through the company Ignite. Then it's funded by taking out a refinance mortgage on his home. And then it's funded by putting his home up for sale and becoming a fake dating coach. He just goes from one fucking scam to the next. And I take huge issue with this piece of shit because he has no game and he's in a space that he doesn't belong trying to rip people off, getting okay, allying with all the shitheads like Andrew Tate. Okay, before we continue with the rest of this, guys, our prices are going up on November 1st. We are running the best mentorship program in the industry. We have over 1,500 testimonials, the best results by a landslide. You can go find out more on a free 30-minute strategy call, what the options are and what the current pricing is, or by clicking on the info card in the corner. Be until July 2020, 18 months after Ignite started, when Dan fired Ignite's vice president, who then sued Dan Bilzerian for unfair dismissal, in the process completely exposing his phony business model. For starters, the lawsuit explained that Dan Bilzerian hadn't actually paid 
$65 million for his mansion, but the property was rather rented for $2.4 million. So you gotta keep all these fucking lies straight. First of all, he didn't make a whole bunch of money through untraceable cash games. That was an inheritance from his criminal father, Paul. Secondly, it was a lie that he bought this mansion. Okay, he was renting it. 2.4 million annual rent. Rented, not bought. Just like Tate's cars. Okay, those are not their cars. They do not own those. They're in the name of other people that live in Dubai and stuff like that. But they flex as if they bought them all. False. Dan Bilzerian did not buy that house. He was just fucking renting it. And it also was exposed that he was paying a lot of these girls. Okay, that came out into the public. Guys thought that he was just some super suave guy that was able to attract all these stunning models and stuff on Instagram. And then, oh, lo and behold, they're all on the payroll. A uh, year. On top of this, it was shown that Bulzarian paid for the travel expenses of the rotating cast of models that permanently accompany Bulzarian wherever he goes. And he paid them personally too, not just their fucking travel expenses. Despite Dan consistently stating that the girls were there voluntarily. He's a liar. He's a liar and a fraud. The SEC has just indicted his company for fraud. Okay, the guy that he fired put out a lawsuit saying that Dan was was using Ignite Company funds for his own personal luxurious lifestyle spending. Do you pay these girls to come? No. No. That's, okay, so... That's the big I, misconception. Yeah. See, there he is lying about not paying the girls. He lies about how he made the money. He lies about buying that fucking mansion versus renting it. He's just a massive fucking liar. And what a surprise. Now he's on social media with the Quran because okay, that's the quickest way to gain social media clout. I did a whole video about all these guys fake converting to Islam. We'll pop up the thumbnail. That's the quickest way to gain clout and subscribers and views. Okay, and get more customers in 2024, this fake conversion is on. But it takes a special kind of piece of shit like Dan Bilzerian and Andrew Tate to pull that off. I'm right? addressing that on my app. However, the craziest part of the lawsuit outlined Dan's strange expenses, including 75,000 on a paintball field, 40,000 on a rock climbing wall, 60,000 on a Star Wars gun set, 31,000 on pool renovations, 50,000 on a bed frame, 15,000 on a ping pong table, and 88,000 on a vault, just to name a few. It was also stated that some business Business expenses charged to Ignite were for household items, groceries, and luxury yacht rentals with a different former employee and transportation for models, it said. Employees stating Ignite pays for everything. Models, events, yachts. Dan would just have it wrapped with the Ignite logo and all of a sudden it was an Ignite expense and he would send them. Look at this. It's just a fucking total dork, loser, piece of shit, fraud, lying, like total loser. Throwing money fraudulently from a company he owns to pay for girls, events, yachts and other toys and now his company has been indicted by the sec for fraud hey but this is just whistleblowers from within his company exposing this okay so it's very obvious that what's going on here the bill pools trampolines the employee added his personal events that had nothing to do with the business dan responded by stating some journalist said ignite was funding my life bitch i've been going hard for 10 years and been famous for going hard for seven i started ignite two years ago raised around 100 mil and i own the majority of the company suck my dick yeah He's been going hard spending his criminal father's trust fund money. What a cool guy. Now he's going hard spending the company's funds on his own per personal luxury and paying all these girls to be around him. Wow, that's so cool, Danny boy. Okay, walk around like a raccoon in short shorts. The guy's a total fucking loser. And he's like running out of options. Okay, the walls are closing in. Now there's a criminal indictment and <laughs> all his stuff's getting put up for sale. He's coming out with this Sigma Society shit to try to grift in the dating space and be a fake coach. The guy's a total fucking loser. Okay? Nobody should ever look up to this guy, just like Andrew Tate. Just a little poser trying to be cool online. Dick, although his arrogant response failed to dismiss anything, especially the company's atrocious financial reports. Dan had spent a total of $69 million during Ignite's first year in business, which was offset by only $9.7 in sales. Given the previously mentioned law Lawsuit explained how terribly this money was spent. Ignite stock price plummeted by almost 90% from $2.50 to a low of 28 cents in October 2020. As the media began to report on Dan's losses, he'd respond by stating, Uber is worth 80 billion. It has never had a profitable month since it started, and it lost over 5 billion in one quarter last year. However, Ignite's financial losses weren't even the worst part. Ignite only had an audience because of Dan's extravagant life, which as a result of the lawsuit had been 
exposed as rented. His lifestyle was once mysterious and intriguing, but it lost its edge as soon as people realized it was just another business. On top of this, the whole mega rich guy on Instagram shtick was cool in 2014, but by 2020, everybody knew it was complete baloney, which began to reflect in Dan's Instagram statistics. In May 2020, Dan almost completely stopped posting to Instagram, and by the end of the year, he'd begun to lose followers. In the See? Nobody gives a fuck about this dumbass anymore. Okay, it was just a little dork running around spending his criminal father's trust fund money, running the company into the ground. It's just a guy that's just fucking spending a lot of money and showing it online. Wow, that's so cool. You can pay girls to be around you. You can pay for a yacht with company funds. Wow, I want to be like that. And he's totally fucked his dopamine reward system. I've heard him on podcasts. He's like, yeah, uh, I've driven all the best cars and eaten all the best food and been to all the coolest places. So now all the normal stuff seems like super lame and super boring. It sounds like a fucking heroin addict. <laughs> he can't even experience real pleasure anymore. So now he's going into the fake dating coaching business and doing a fake conversion is on. The whole thing's fucking retarded. Again, before we continue to finish this here, our prices are going up November 1st by $1,800. Okay, the demand keeps growing for our programs and we can't overload them. So prices are going up. You can lock in the current pricing with the link in the description or in the info card in the corner. In the meantime, the media speculated that he'd soon fall for bankruptcy, to which Dan clapped back by tweeting a skeleton with the caption, or the dumbass journalist patiently waiting for Ignite to go bankrupt. Dan was right, Ignite wasn't filing for bankruptcy, but that didn't mean that things were going well. Keep in mind, the SEC has now criminally indicted his company since this video has been made. After losing 69 million in 2019, Ignite lost a further 19.7 million in 2020 during- There's a girl arriving, I gotta speed this up here. In which the media released another strange detail. Dan Bilzerian's dad was supposedly running Ignite from behind the scenes. Now this was a problem for one main reason. Paul Bilzerian was a convicted felon who was illegally prohibited from participating in publicly traded companies. He'd spent a year in jail for fraud in the 90s, leading Dan to pretend that they weren't that close. I talked to him um, probably four or five times a year. However, according to one article, Paul Bilzerian has taken a less shadowy role within the company, sending thousands of emails between himself and other top executives at Ignite. Yeah, so he was running the company, okay, that came out in the, the indictment. So his father, Paul, was indicted, Dan's company was indicted, and their accountant was indicted for falsifying documents. This was only speculation at the time, but if Paul was in fact running the company, he was starting to do something right. Despite losing 19.7 million in 2020, Ignite actually recorded a profit in their final quarter, leading Dan to tweet, Ignite announces a profitable fourth quarter. I guess the press and the dumb YouTubers were wrong, a shocking, the reason for which being explained in a Forbes article. For one, Ignite cut costs, slashing a promotional budget by nearly 75%. Pandemics meant fewer parties, and for Ignite, that meant a chance at profit. As economic conditions improved in early 2021, the price of Dan's stock began to recover rapidly, quadrupling from 28 cents per share in October 2020 to $1.13 only one year later. In the process, Ignite increased its revenue from 16.9 million in 2020 to 78.8 million in 2021, at which point Dan made the claim that he wanted to sell the company. Two billion would be nice, because then I get over a billion. However, the chance of achieving this kind of money began to look unlikely, as the value of Dan's company began to fall off a cliff. The recovery made by Dan in 2021 was completely reversed throughout 2022, owed in part to one particular incident. The SEC is suing Ignite Brands LTD for failing to produce documents as it attempts to pursue an accounting fraud investigation. According to the SEC case, SEC staff have uncovered information indicating that respondents may have filed public financial statements that include false or misleading representation. And again, now the update is they've been formally indicted by the SEC criminally. Regarding revenues earned and recognized in the company's fiscal year ending December 1st, 2020. On top of potentially falsifying their revenue, the suit also revealed that Ignite was under criminal investigation for something unrelated. As a result, the stock was headed toward a new record low. However, Dan was able to fix this problem by removing Ignite from the stock exchange altogether. He provided no explanation for the company's removal. However, just two months later, media publication MJ Biz Daily somehow managed to interview Dan Bilzerian's dad, who said he is now serving as an unpaid advisor to his son's company and was speaking on behalf of Ignite because Dan was unavailable to comment. It state there is no reason to have a public company unless you intend to raise capital from public markets before going on to state though Ignite was publicly traded, about 90% of the company's shares are owned by Dan and friends. Dan likely thought that as a public figure, he should have a public company, although this structure provided no real benefit and instead delivered unwanted attention from governing bodies and the media. Despite this, it was reported in March 2023 that Dan was still refusing to cooperate with governing bodies and while Ignite's privatization means its income is no longer public, it doesn't really seem as though business has improved. Dan recently bragged on Ignite's Instagram by stating, best-selling vapes in South America, although the very top comment was, Bro, I love you, but I never seen anyone smoking that. Ignite's Twitter page gets about 30 likes per post. The company's official TikTok page has under 4,000 followers, while Dan Bilzerian's personal social media isn't looking so healthy either. His main Instagram page is losing 100,000 followers per month, owed in part to his complete inactivity, only uploading every once in a blue moon. When he does post, all of the most popular comments state, So sad you have to pay for having ladies around you, haha. -ha. There it is. 
Such a sad life. The once Mr. Cool guy that was off just spending a trust fund is now seen as being a total fucking loser. Well, such a sad life, and I don't know why I still follow this dude. In January 2021, Bilzerian was asked, Dan, why are you barely active over Instagram recently? To which he'd respond with, because I just finished the 25th edit of my book. It's finally done. Yet Dan failed to return to Instagram after the book's release. However, only a couple of months ago on the Skinny Confidential podcast, Dan gave an updated explanation for why he'd quit everything. I just don't care. Like, I feel like social media is like a video game I beat like eight years ago, and I'm like, everybody's playing the same game. I'm like, tired of playing it. Like, I look at social media like a cancer. Like, to me, I think it's the worst thing to be happening to society. <laughs> Look at his hair. It's the worst thing that's happened to him. So I just like, it just cringe to perpetuate that problem. Dan seems quite resentful over his social media career and is perhaps sick of being hated. However, I can't imagine his next venture will make that any better. After seemingly spending a bit too much time with Andrew Tate, Dan Bilzerian is working on his own alpha male course and website called Sigma Society. The thing I'm working on right now is a site where it's basically going to like teach guys kind of like Sigma? how- What's that? Yeah. Sigma? Yeah, it's going to like teach guys how to be guys. You know, I feel like this generation has kind of like lost that. And while such a venture would surely find an audience, it feels like a last ditch. It's going to teach guys how to worship a guy that's spending his criminal father trust fund money because he's pretty cool all right i gotta go this chick's arriving let me know what you think in the comments below get on one of those calls to lock in the current pricing okay pricing goes up in less than a week's time make sure you watch the video in the end screen where i go over the fake conversions to islam and i show that's related to dan bilzerian make sure you like the video and subscribe and i'll see you guys on a video soon take care i said fuck the industry and did it my way, my way. i learned how to roll a weed i didn't roller skate nah. go in the back y'all look at the lake and i meditate yeah. all i need is one skill a couple bells came in this shit by myself. Dolph, why you fuck this girl? Oh uh, shit, cause I'm a player. Quarterback, no NFL. Hey.